Namaste and welcome. I'm Julie Norman with Body Karma Healing. Thanks for joining me here today. In this video, I'd like to share a modified moon salutation, very short practice that's great to use when you're feeling overwhelmed with emotion, overwhelmed with stress, not yourself, just to really slow down and pause, open the lower chakras so we can feel balanced in the heart, clear in our mind, most importantly, so we can feel in love with ourselves, our bodies, and our soul. So let's jump in and begin. First and foremost, I start every practice personally with lighting a candle and saying a little prayer. You can modify, do your own practice, whatever feels right for you. But I light this candle, candle as a symbol of my own divine light. And I like to read, especially when I'm focusing on the feminine energy of the moon, I like to read my Body Karma Healing prayer card. So let's start with that. Find your way to your mat, nice comfortable seated posture. And just begin to breathe with awareness. Slow and deep in. Slow and deep out. Lighting our candle here to affirm that we are Atman, spark of the divine. Not always easy to light that light. There we go. Nice. Oh, Mother Moon, guide me. Help me see into the dark. Hold me tight as I spiral deep into my heart. I promise to be brave, though trembling full of fear. I accept the call of the feminine. I will listen. I will hear. I accept myself in all my power. I will show it to the world. I trust. I am protected by you, by all the ancestors dancing in your light. And let's begin. Bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes. Bow your chin slightly. this little prayer to yourself. Starting with some gentle seated warm-ups. Just take a big breath in, even though we're doing the moon salutation, just opening with some easy sun breaths. Root down into the lower body, lift through the heart, touch the sky, and release down to the earth again. Big breath in. And down. Add a few twists. Big breath in. Just easy to the one side. Exhale completely. Big breath in. Exhale to the other side. Whichever way you want to go first and second. And once more. This time as you exhale, bring foundational hands, really spreading the fingers apart to the earth behind you, unfold the legs, and right into some gentle windshield wipers. A little more twisting, getting down nice and easy to the lower body. The moon salutation works more with the first, second, and third chakras. The first three energy centers connection to the earth, strong and supported, both by Mother Moon and Mother Earth. Beautiful. Go ahead and come on to hands and knees. Make your way all the way up to standing, just a low lunge, and step up. Middle of your mat lengthwise. Settle into mountain pose. Feet together, really hug the thighs together. Yes. It's okay for your thighs to touch. We need to love and accept our bodies right where they are. And attending to the feminine energy, the lunar energy, is going to help with that. 
So hands to heart center, hug the legs together, press the hands into each other. We're just going to keep a steady dirga breath, a complete yogic breath throughout this little sequence. And instead of flowing one breath to each posture, we're going to just spend a little time in each part of the moon salutation. And again, this is a modified version. So let's begin. Big breath in, sweep up. Hands to temple mudra, looks like this. Fingers lace into each other, first fingers extend. Just take a moment to sink the soles of your feet into the ground. Let the tailbone point directly to the earth and lift and lengthen through the torso. Reaching up, engaging the arms, but softening the shoulders. Gently move the arms back to frame your head. Feel that steady breath. Your body is a conduit for inspiration. It is a connection, a bridge between heaven and earth. And then just a side bend. So big inhale and exhale to the left. Really reach out, especially straightening that left arm. Inhale tall, let the breath pull you back up. Exhale to the other side. Inhale tall. Now take a hop out, wide stance, landing goddess pose. So right away we're stepping into our power in the moon salutation. Let the pelvis level. So maybe it feels like you're pulling the tailbone under a bit. Open the low belly. Toes are turned out. Knees are lined up about over the ankles. Or you can soften that a bit if your knees are a little more sensitive. Shine the palms of your hands. Shine your heart. Close your eyes here for a few breaths. Just follow my voice. Find an affirmation that matches the power of this pose, such as, I am all powerful, or I am amazing. Keep going with that. Expand the breath even fuller in, lengthen the exhalation and open to five-pointed star. If you're one of my tribe locally, you know what I cue in this pose. Sparkle, damn it. Let your light shine. I used to be really hung up on my arms, having, you know, this that gets picked on in our culture. You shouldn't have back, bat wings. Five-pointed star really helped me embrace my arms, and arms are heart chakra. So if I'm not embracing that part of my body, how can I really live with an open heart and follow the path of my heart? So extend. you have any body image issues with your arms? Let them go. Let them release through your fingertips. Connect to them on the in-breath. And exhale. Release them on the out-breath. Let's smile too. And moving on, turn the right toes in a bit. 45 degree angle with the back foot. Turn the left toes out. You'll see I have two blocks here. So set up with that when you get started. Turn the palms down, triangle prep. Keep the hips turning forward. Start to reach out, lengthen both sides of the waistline. And then hinge, shine your right hand up to the stars. Or if your shoulders are a little sensitive today, draw the right forearm behind your back. Just reach the heart open towards the sky. You can keep a little bend in the knee and triangle. You can sink a little lower, a little deeper. Expand the pose if you have a bit more of a practice. But certainly listen to your body. That is the golden rule of yoga. You are the guru of your own practice. And coming out of the pose here, start to turn the heart towards that left leg. Bring your fingertips to your blocks. You're going to step the back foot forward a bit. 
keep it hip distance apart, toes pointing forward, and either just press and lengthen the back up tall here to pyramid. If your hamstrings are okay with this, you could fold forward a bit. Make it a forward bend. Just a few steady breaths. Certainly if you want to bring the fingertips to the floor, go for it. Come back up tall, step that right foot back again. Drop that knee to the ground. Take a nice big reach up, low lunge. Let's continue to expand the heart center by sinking down into the roots. Top of the right foot into the earth. Sole of the left foot grounding down. Just allow the pelvis, the low back, the low belly to melt towards the ground. That second chakra space is the feminine energy that's here. And again, we fight with that part of the body. We don't like it. We can feel like it's too much. It's not. And releasing, come to the blocks. Turn the right toes under and straighten that leg a bit. Walk your way to the front of the mat again. These blocks right inside the left leg. And take a bow over to the left leg here. Toes point forward. Wide leg forward bend first over to the left. Let's lift, press the back flat. You can put a bend in the knees at any time. Blocks to the middle of the mat. Fold here for three breaths. And take it over to the right. Here's where we start to come up the other side. So unlike a sun salutation, we're going back and forth on the lateral plane. We are making a big circle. So drop the left knee, put the top of that foot down. You're in your low lunge. You can stay on your blocks. You could come up just to the thigh, hands to heart center, or go ahead and expand fingertips to the sun, to the moon, to the heavens. And come on down. We're going to transition into that pyramid pose. Turn the left toes under. Lift that knee just a bit and hop that foot in. Coming into that little bit of a wide leg stance. Facing the right short side of your mat. Either flatten the back up or fold or a little of both. Watch the thoughts as you move through your practice, feeling your belly into the top of the thighs, any triggering thoughts, any resistance. Just notice and breathe. Inhale, come tall, step the left foot back a bit more again. Angle the foot, placing it down, and find your way into your triangle on this side. Reach the left arm up. Or again, the option to keep it a little kinder to the shoulder. Reach back here, but go ahead and enjoy a few moments in Trikonasana, triangle pose. Don't worry about perfection. As you connect to your body and you come to your practice, mixing it up, taking classes, private instruction, doing videos, doing it just on your own, You'll learn, always listen to your body. Let's rise up tall, revisit five-pointed star, really let it shine this time. How about a few more affirmations for yourself here? You are 
unlimited. You are the master of your life. You are enough, worthy, whole. Goddess pose. Hmm. And go ahead for fun. You can jump it together or just step your feet together. Back to mountain pose. Big breath in, reach up tall, side bend right this time. As we come to close our lunar cycle, inhale tall. Exhale left. Inhale tall. Exhale, hands float to the heart. Whew. Though it's a moon salutation, a cooling feminine practice, it builds a little bit of heat. To finish, you can practice moving through it some more on your own. Breath in, breath out to each part of the cycle. When you're finished, come back down to the earth. Again, just stepping back through a low lunge is a great way to get there. And come onto your back for a few reclined postures. You can just do a little bit of a gentle bridge. Pressing up. Again, opening the second chakra. Strengthening the back side of the body. Supporting the heart. In releasing old pain. Fear, guilt, shame. And grief. A little hug to the knees. And then lying in Savasana, even if it's just for one full minute. Letting yourself just be. We do our asana practice. Take these poses so it can bust through layers of fear, guilt, shame, grief, all the fear-based emotions. Move the blocked energy and return to our wholeness. We know we're enough, so we just practice simply being. When you come out of Savasana, do so just bringing the left foot up, pressing it into the earth, turning onto your right side, spending a few breaths there, and then coming back to a seated posture. Shortening that up for the video. Thank you for joining me here. Please stop back, subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe to my email list, and be a part of the Body Karma Healing Tribe. We're working to change body image so that we can change the world, removing the obstacle of not loving ourselves, of fighting with the physical form, which gets in the way of being of service, living our dreams, just enjoying this life. Namaste.